Welcome back to NFL Network. I'm your host, Bray Shanyan, here with Ryan Sullivan and Owen Cunningham. Today, we're, be- we're going to be talking about the NFC West and who can pull out first in that division. Ryan, what do you think? Who do you think? Well, uh, I think it's easy on on this one. This is the this is the Los Angeles Rams. This team, even though they lost Von Miller, they were able to add Bobby Wagner. You still got Stafford. You still got Cup. You locked up Down. You lock up Cooper Cup. You still got Jalen Ramsey on the defensive side of the ball. And I'm ver- I'm very big on this on this guy Leonard Floyd. I think he's very amazing. But the, but the competition is not that great. You know, you got Arizona, but Kyler Murray's in a contract dispute. DeAndre Hopkins is suspended for six games. You, you don't know what you're going to get out of J.J. Watt this late, this late in his career. So Arizona is in, in a pickle here. Seattle is done now after trading Russell Wilson. Drew Locke is going to be the starting quarterback. Not that great of a defense, even though you got a Hall of Fame coach in Pete Carroll. They're not going to go very far. And then the last team is San Francisco 49ers. You know, you don't know what you're going to get out of Jimmy Garoppolo. And even if you play Trey Lance, what are you going to get out of him? Debo Samuel does not want to be there. While they do have a great defense, they're going to lose their star wide receiver who can also do it in the run game. I think the Rams have this one of them. I would look in a different direction. I would say the San Francisco 49ers just a few years ago, they were in the Super Bowl. I've always been a huge believer in Trey Lance. I thought they should have started him from day one, but what can you do? The San Francisco 49ers have been consistent. They have a phenomenal coach in Kyle Shanahan, who always seems to have Sean McVay's number, in le- even though the last game went the Rams' way. I think the Niners are going to come back looking for revenge, and they're going to get it. I agree with you, Owen. I do also believe that it will be the San Francisco 49ers. Now we're taking questions from our live audience. Hey, guys. So I'm just uh, I'm kind of curious. So as far as the Niners go, uh, certainly, I know it's uh, kind of up in the air right now who the quarterback is going to be. Is Jimmy G going to stay? Is he going to get traded? Uh, so, hypothetically, let's say Trey Lance does happen to start for this team. Um, obviously, I know you said you think uh, the Niners could win that division. How far do you think Trey Lance can take the Niners next year? Well, I think he can take them pretty far. I mean, a mobile, more of a mobile quarterback. I think some mobile quarterbacks also. Starting to take over the league, including um, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Jamar Jackson. Mobile quarterbacks trying to take over. I think he has a pretty good arm, but the only downside is that he's a younger offense. I mean, he's a, he's a younger player, and he still has to build up chemistry with his team. Well, I don't believe that you can win with a player who wants to be traded, Nino Samuel, when he's literally. The, lead, the, the leader of this offense. He can run the ball, he can receive the ball. I'm pretty sure he was third in the league in receiving yards this year. But if your best player is not going to be there, you cannot win. Everybody on the Rams, they have a new contract where they're locked into a guaranteed contract. And they are all happy and they want to go back to back because the competition in the NFC, let's just face it, it's not that, it's not that uh, big. I believe Debo will. Easily re-sign and get back happy. I mean, where else can you win in San Francisco, the Bay Area? The 49ers are a historic team. Debo should want to stay, and Debo should immediately sign a new contract. The 49ers, they should get it worked out before the season, I believe, at least. Okay, this was NFL Network. I'm Brady Shannon, my co-hosts, Owen Cunningham and Ryan Sullivan. Thank you.